All right. We're ready now. April, we finally got the mention from old stuttering John. I am very excited. I do believe. Now, I could be wrong, and I'm glad that we have Why Do I Podcast in here because maybe mm -hmm. he can correct the record here. I think one of these references that stuttering John's about to make to new friend of the show, Tony Michaels, oh my God. that he had on as his uh, guest today. I think one of these is a direct reference to Steel Toe. I want to ask you guys two things. One, is he talking about Steel Toe? And two, do you think Tony Michaels is bothered by us talking shit about him? Yes, I will No, no, say no, wait, wait. Oh. You haven't heard this yet. Oh. I want you to answer. This is uh -oh. your homework assignment. Jeez. As we hear from Tony, do you think maybe the Steel Toe clip might have got to him? You think it might have got back to him? And he okay. might have heard it. I will check it out. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Stuttering John. Anytime you're dedicating four minutes to talking about how you're not bothered by the trolls, mm -hmm. you're usually bothered by the trolls. I'm already making assumptions about Tony because he took down all of those food vlogs after somebody else ripped him a new one. And so. he's going to try to retcon that in this clip. Mm. He's going to try to go back. Okay. I really want you guys who are longtime Steel Toe fans to really get acquainted. Of course, you're acquainted with Stuttering John, but I want you to get acquainted with Tony Michaels, and I want you to get acquainted with Chad Zumach because we're going to be talking about these two, I think, more than Stuttering John. I think the Stuttering John market is uh, inflated right okay. now. I think there's too many people chasing Stuttering John. So I'm really distracted, and I'm really fascinated by the B-plot characters. So maybe Steel Toe will be the Dabbler B-plot show. And we'll watch more them. Tony Michaels and Chad Zumach because oh boy, uh, Dennis sent me a whole shitload of Tony Michaels stuff, and we've only gone through one of like six videos that he sent me. And boy, if the rest are as bad as the first one, oh, we're in for a fun, fun winter. Can't wait. With he'll, Tony Michaels. He'll keep us warm. Oh, Tony will keep us warm with his chubby widow cheeks. Uh, he's got a little bit of Haley Joel Osment in the uh, Ted Bundy movie thing going on. But uh, let's watch Stuttering John, who continues day after day to look more and more like a cadaver. It's amazing. What is happening to his face? You know when they pulled Frederica Bimmel out of the water in Silence of the Lambs and her skin was all pale from being in the river that long just mm -hmm. before they pulled the the uh, the butterfly or the the moth or whatever it was the gypsy moth or whatever it was yeah out of her throat john's skin is starting to look like frederica bimmel's skin when they pulled her out of the river down south in silence of the lambs tasty and bloated let's watch uh he, you know what he keeps calling anthony pocky because of his pock face sure how about anthony and john do a show together because John has decided to start insulting Anthony about his pock marks from his childhood acne, which is, you know, whatever. Uh, but if Anthony has to be pocky, how about John is chalky? Pocky and chalky? Pocky and chalky. There you go. No, I'm in on that. Yeah, you know what? Let's go pocky and chalky, and let's see who takes the joke better, Anthony or John. Oh. Because holy shit, this man is starting to look... Like a washed out cadaver in a river somewhere. Isn't it something that he does all that beer on the balcony, but he just can't catch a tan? Oh, you know, you think you do all these beer on the balconies. Yeah, you might get a little bit of color, but nope. He oh, either, right. okay, he either, if I'm giving him credit, he looks like the mortician in Silence of the Lambs who digs out the moth from the woman's throat. Neither's a compliment. But mostly I think he looks like dead, bloated Frederica Bimmel. So here we go, Stuttering John and Tony Michaels talking about the haters be, if I may inject a little shabism into it. Kumi is the epitome of a racist. I don't know. I mean, this Why? is a guy. All right, fair to start off. <laughs> Nobody's fighting you. Okay, all right, John. A blind squirrel finds a nut every now and again. That still uses the N-word, still uses the uh, F-word for um, uh, uh, gay people. Still to this day, he does. Why? Well, I mean, it's not. And he's the magnet, Tony. Oh, uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's kind of, it's kind of like he likes to swing his gun when he can find it. Well, you know, <laughs> it's you know a reference to Anthony's uh, like seven-year-old now clip of him losing his gun. Yeah, when he was having that fight with Danny in the house. How does a? I've I have so many questions here. You say you're into these B 
B roll people. The B plot here. guys, yeah. How does a Tony Michaels that did foodless mukbanging videos, if you will, yes, drive through mukbangs? Here? Yeah. What what got him right here? Some people, and you have to give them credit for this, are so obsessed with becoming just a guy on the internet. They're so obsessed with it that they will just keep throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. And that's what Tony Michaels does. I think Tony Michaels is the liberal Steven Crowder. Oh, failed at sketch what? comedy. Okay. Failed at doing funny viral videos on the internet. So he said, you know what? I may be a hack as a comic. I may be a hack as a comedic performer. People may not find me. They might find me devoid of charm and humor. But maybe if I just rant about politics all day, I'll catch on somewhere. And there's enough people like angry about Republicans and Democrats and, you know, that they'll listen. They'll consume like a vacuum. They'll suck up any kind Very of content about that. Sure. And I think that's what Tony Michaels has found now. Okay. Uh, and he he does something in this clip that I just laugh every time I hear someone do it. Chad Zumach does this a lot too. It's why I'm kind of obsessed with him now. He pretends to not know who people are and then states the things they're doing chapter and verse. Tony Michaels doesn't know what anyone does. Tony Michaels doesn't know how anyone makes a living or what they say on their show. But boy, can he quote it back to you. Yeah, wasn't... Wasn't Dahmer that guy that, you know, got, you know, gay, <laughs> yeah. gay people really, really drunk in the bar? And I don't know you know, anything about I don't about... know about him, but, like, didn't he take them home and, like, eventually cut them up? Right. And, uh, That's exactly you know? what he does. You know? Just watch. Tony <laughs> Tony is one of the best self-owned artists that you're ever going to find. Responsible gun owners. Responsible gun owners don't know where their guns are. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, Anthony. Didn't really he used to have a show? Him. I don't know. I thought he used to have a show. He does, I think he does two a day on me now. <laughs> does, does it? Di didn't he used to have a show, says Tony. Didn't he used to have a show? That's the only you, thing you would know Anthony Cumia from. You know he still has a show. You've talked to Stuttering John about Anthony's show. Several times. Tony, you're not cute or clever or above it all when you do that. Everyone knows that you're just plain full of shit, drive through boy. Come on, order yourself a burger and get real. Somehow watching Tony is more visually appealing than stuttering John. Well, look, like I said, I, you know, there's chalky, something, chalky over here. I mean, it, there's something makes, really awkward about the angle, too. Like his it's like from under him. It's very awkward. Oh, that's just the bloating from all the beer. Oh, thank yeah. you. Oh, God. That's thanks. just the the now I understand the just the liver being overpowered by booze. It's Coors mumps. He had a clip that we never got to. It's so sad. He talked about how the night before he ran out of beer, so he knocked on his neighbor's door and bummed seltzers off of him. Like a trip to the liquor store was out of the question. Buddy, you can't do that. Oof. Does he do two a day on you? you God on damn. <laughs> God damn. There's, they're really racking up the shows on you. Yeah. I, Fuck, man. I, at this point, I'm more famous than Jesus Christ. I know. I know. <laughs> Is there anything sadder than watching two guys do this? Watching um, two guys who are daily getting their dicks kicked in by everybody and acting like it's going well. No, these two are very much the type of person where they're like, at least they're talking about me. I'm fucking popular now. I'm going to say that I disagree. Tony Michaels <laughs> hates it when people talk about him. He's wiped all of his food review things off of his YouTube. Tony does not like being discussed unless you talk about what a political genius he is, which puke. Well, yeah, I was just... You just got done saying how he wanted to be that guy, like yeah. a guy on the internet. Well, you'd like people talking about you then. What are these? Do these people do anything besides watch content on you? No. It's crazy. Like, no. I watch your show every once in a while, but God damn. I mean, and I'm your buddy. And we talk. <laughs> every week we talk. But I don't. I can't even watch all your content, let alone all the content. These people spend their entire lives. I, 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 I know you're listening. First of all, Tony, you need to calm down because I know you're trying to pretend you're not bothered. But the high pitched voice, the redness in your cheeks that's coming, uh, you starting to shout in your radio voice, it's not lending itself to I don't care. Mixed with uh, stuttering John's like extra laughing. At all times. You know what that is? That's that increased Nervous. heart rate, adrenaline, laughter. Yeah. yeah. Listening to me right now, you fucking cucks. You racist cucks. Ooh. You fucking stuttering John cucks. That's right. You're cucking. You're being a Ew. cuck. You like oh, so word. he's like one of these left-wing guys who wants to like hijack right-wing terms because oh, yeah. he thinks that's... So, being edgy. So he even has to do like political shtick 
even when he's talking about this stuff. Oh, he is highly mockable. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> Fucking idiots. No, what are you going to do about it? There's another guy. I'm, oh, I'm going to threaten lawsuits and fake cancer promotions. <laughs> don't mention names. Who does three shows a day on me. Three? Three. So that's... Now we are... Now... now I don't know who he's talking about there. Oh, that might be his steel toe reference. That could be Shuli. I think that might be Shuli and uh, the Uncle Rico show, Miserable Men, and whatever else. Uh, those I'm not guys sure do. how many times they. I go think on, that might so. be Shuli. I think I was the third one that he mentions here. Okay. We're up to five. God damn. On me. God damn. And then another guy does two. God damn. So that so now we're up to seven. I think that was the steel toe reference. Well, yeah, was the guy show. who does two shows a day on me. Now, Even first show. of all, John, you fucking bloated pig. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> and Tony, I hope you're smart. I know you're not the smartest guy in the world. And I know you're so desperate for clout that you'll latch on to stuttering John, which, I mean, to say that's a dry utter is an understatement. But I really hope John doesn't believe that. And I know deep down, John, that you don't believe that. I mean, Christ's sake, we do what? Five morning shows a week. We do three evening shows a week, mm -hmm. and we maybe, at most, do two Stuttering John segments. Yeah, a couple. In all that time. A week, John. So don't flatter yourself. You're not usually that interesting. You're not that interesting, John. We got to put together a lot of clips of you. It takes days for you to be fascinating. You have to accumulate. Although you and Tony, if you did a show together, we'd probably have material every day. Oh, well, they're going to love this content. They're going to eat this up. Oh, for sure, but not for the reason you guys think. Watching you guys try to cope with the fact that everybody is kicking your teeth in on the internet is not the own that I'm thinking you think it is. You did say cuck about seven or eight times. That's pretty good. I really do think that John is just anxiously laughing over yeah. here just to pretend this isn't happening. I think John is feeling very broken by all this. Yeah. Hence all the blocking and all of that stuff and the threatening lawsuits mm -hmm. and all that. You don't threaten lawsuits. You don't try to get people's Patreon taken away like he has with Carl or their Discord taken away like yeah. he has with Carl because you don't care. No. Because you love it. He, he because clearly. you're laughing. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah, that, that drive through guy was on Stuttering John. A drive through guy. He's a drive through guy. I, listen. Oh, uh, the dri I think the drive through thing might be bothering somebody. That's funny. Ah, uh, oh, Tony. He hates it. Tony, I think the drive through thing is getting to you. Mm -hmm. You fucking idiots. Ooh. Listen, Ooh. can you hear my voice? Saucy language from a fast food boy. He really does like to use like naughty words. Like, no. Like, edgy. Tony, that is very saucy language. I don't think they're going to let you through the Arby's drive through for a big Montana talking like that. Nope. Somebody's not getting an extra horsey sauce packet with that kind of talk. Can't yell fucking idiots at Arby's. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Somebody is not getting the new KFC Twister to try for his next video. Oh, shit. I forgot about He's that. He's going to start calling everybody fucking idiots. Uh-oh. What if they're Republicans at the drive through Tony? Certainly can't go through Chick-fil-A. They're too Christian. No, 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 no. Listen. I don't do drive through videos anymore. Right. You talk in a hacky, nasally radio voice and pretend to be a political expert. We know, Tony. We're very familiar with you. We love your content. Okay. <laughs> Just saying that you did, you don't do them anymore doesn't mean it didn't exist. Right. And as that we all saw it. As much as he tries to make it not exist. It's, it's, it's just kind of like, you know, oh, that guy, he killed a guy, right? Okay, but I'm not killing him anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm not murdering people anymore. It's not every day. God, guys, get over it. <laughs> Those were a long time ago. And the only reason why I, I took the video. Them, by the way. Oh, I oh. <laughs> That is the worst endorsement you can have for a comedy sketch you did is if stuttering John Melendez says, I, I liked him, by the way. Well, now you know they're dog shit. Now you, Tony probably went to bed, to, goes to bed tonight going, oh, fuck, those really were bad, weren't they? You too, I, I liked them too. The only reason no, why don't. I took them down is because- Because you liked them so fucking much? Is that why you took them down, Tony? Because they were so goddamn good, you just couldn't stand to look at them anymore? Because you just kept laughing and coming and laughing and coming and laughing and coming. Every time you watch yourself go through a goddamn McDonald's, you watch that drive through bit and you just started soaking oh. your pants with cum, Tony. You oh. had to delete it. I understand, Tony. I understand. No woman has ever made you feel the way those drive through videos have. Not willingly, anyway. I don't think women are with him. 
I hope not. I can guarantee you not. I would advocate for all of you not being allowed to vote if any of you have ever touched this man in any kind of way that wasn't platonic. If some lady has touched his wiener before, like she's missing something, right? Yeah. Well, no, she's probably got an extra something. Chromosome, okay, You perhaps. know what? You're right. Because you fucking idiots were attacking my YouTube and got it fucking banned. You <laughs> The only reason I took them down is because you guys were being mean to me. I just wanted to do my drive through videos, and I just wanted to talk about my sauces. And I He's a big old baby with a beard. Yeah. That's exactly what he is. By the way, to uh, Tony, after this clip is over, in honor of you, I say we fire up one more drive through video from old Tony Michaels. What do you yeah. say? A Tony Michaels drive through Ooh. video. Does he have a favorite? I have a favorite. The next one we do. Dumb motherfuckers. So if you like the drive through videos so much and that's what you like, uh -huh. fine, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Okay, good then. I don't know, Tony. You just spent the last minute, quote, not giving a fuck. That sounds like permission to me. That sounded like permission, Tony. We're going to play a, a video. I want to do right by Tony Michaels. That absolutely sounded like a big old green light. Not only that, Tony... I don't think you can say you don't give a fuck when you just spent the last minute calling us fucking idiots, yelling and swearing at us about playing the drive through videos and explaining why you whitewashed them from your existence. I think he called us cucks. And you called me a cuck. <laughs> oh, I tell that one you. hurt. I tell you. You go through the Taco Bell, you're going to get a talking to for that one, drive through boy. Tough shit. You don't get to see him anymore. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We're going to watch him after this. Don't Unless you, you go like to a little kid, whatever though. fucking podcast <laughs> fucking reviews them or whatever because they think they're fucking cool. I don't think I'm cool. Ooh, there's a lot wrong with what he just said, okay? Wait a minute. I don't think I'm cool. I think you're stupid. There's a big difference. Okay, that's... that's I don't... If I thought I was cool, I'd be behaving like a red bar or a salvo pancakes. Absolutely not. I don't think I'm cool... I just think I'm not as cringe as you are. It's a low fucking bar. I like to live just above the low bar. That's my world. So that's one of the things wrong with what he just said. But so he had just got done telling us that he really liked those drive through videos and they were great yeah. in his opinion. Stands by him. So why would you be angry if somebody wanted to review them? Right. And, you know, if they're so some, if yeah. they're so good, why is that such a bad they're thing? They're so rock solid. We should watch them and laugh our balls off. Why are you so angry? Why are you so angry, Tony? Eat a sandwich. So does that have something to do with Biden? <laughs> and then what's even better, what's even better, John, yeah. is he, these fucking cucks friends, they come and they're like, hey, hey, follow me on Twitter so I can DM you. I'm like, what? Why in the fuck? Why in the He's talking about Anthony's friends. By the way, for a guy who doesn't know, again, here's the Tony Michaels special. I don't know anything about the guy, but here's what all his friends do, and here's what he does, and here's all this. Here's oh, the Tony. biography I wrote of him. Tony, you are not as slick as you think you are, pal. You are pretty textbook, my man. I noticed John doesn't have anything to say. He's only laughing. John is a fucking buffoon. You know okay? what I mean? He's a buffoon. He's just enjoying that somebody else is mad because they're looking at his shit right now. He just wants somebody to join him in coping with the mm -hmm. hate that he's getting. Fuck, because I know I know she's probably watching too, because I'm sure she does shows on you all the time too. I know she's probably. Why in the fuck would I follow a treasonous insurrectionist piece of shit? Do you know what he's talking about? Chrissy. Chrissy. Yeah. Somebody's bothered yeah, by that's, Chrissy. Th that's not hard to figure out. Somebody's a little bothered by Chrissy. And uh, look at John, by the way. He doesn't know who he's talking about. And Tony doesn't know how to play this game. You'll see this coming up. He doesn't know if he should say the name or not. And John's like, because Tony's in his own head right now. Because he's trying to play this off like he doesn't care. But as we're seeing, he cares a lot. But he doesn't know. He's like, okay, how do I play it? Do I say her name like I don't care? Or do I not say her name because I want to act like I'm not giving her the credit? I feel I'm always in a way where I don't like that people bring up a show or a person yeah. and don't say their name because we all Fuck know who it. you're talking about. So just yeah. say it. It's say okay. their name. Why would I do that? Who's Why? she? Who's she? <laughs> uh -oh. I, I forget her name. I really No, you uh -oh. don't. You lying sack of shit. Tony, you are such a hack. It is coming out of your pores. It's sweat. It's like hangover sweat. It's just oozing out of Tony Michaels. Do I don't, does Anthony have a show? Oh, well, all his friends that are on his show keep writing to me. I thought you said you didn't know if he had a show. And the one's a treasonous bitch, and she's an insurrectionist, and I fucking hate her, and I blah, 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 blah. But you don't know her name? Get fucked, uh, Tony. I, I think it was something... 
Cassie? C- Chrissy? <laughs> Dude, I, I don't even know who this fucking twat is. But she. I don't know who the fuck this twat fired. is. Insurrectionist, January 6th, this and that, tries to get me to DM her. I don't know who she is, though. This twat. <laughs> I think of all Tony's sins that he commits of being hacky and being the liberal crowder. Actually, Crowder might be more digestible than Tony Michaels is. I don't think that's a maybe. <laughs> but the worst crime he commits is the hack crime of pretending not to know who people are because he thinks it makes it look like it doesn't bother him. Tony is way too in his own head. And it's too, he's too transparent. He thinks he's playing chess, but he's struggling to set up a checkers board. Yeah, this kind of looks like somebody's bringing up like a... Oh, weren't you that guy who dated that chick that one time? I have no idea who that girl is because <laughs> exactly. it ended super bad. For the him. one with the giant tits, and she had kind of like this eye was a little bigger than this eye, and then but she had the, the tits that were pretty symmetrical. And I don't remember her name though. I, I just uh, isn't that weird. Yeah. She she goes on all these shows that hate on you, and she's one of Anthony. I thought you didn't know if Anthony had any shows, and I thought you didn't know anything about her. I thought you didn't know anything about this woman. God, he just, I mean, this guy, you, okay, pretend these are my playing cards, right? Yep. And this is how you hold your playing cards, right? You don't have the faces holding out to you, right? Oh, that, no, they're towards you. That's how you hold your playing cards. This is how Tony Michaels plays cards. All right, anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's that guy where somebody else at the table next to him is like, dude, you got to stop yeah, showing those people. Dude, pick them, just pick them up, just pick it's, them up a little bit. It's going to go a lot better if you like. Yeah, there you go. Okay. A little close to the chest there, Tony. Don't let us know this bothers you so much and we won't do it so much. This just bought him like months of steel toe ridicule. This is pretty Which good. he's clearly seen by now and it's clearly upset him. Come, uh, what's his name? Anthony... Pocky, just call Oh, yeah, wait, whatever. Oh, what, whatever. Oh, did he just pretend Die. he didn't know Anthony Cumia's name? Gross, this guy's so bad. You know, I, he goes between saying he doesn't know his name at all. Oh, is it Anthony Cumia? Kamaya? Kamatra? Kumasutra? Oh, Tony, you are not good at this. You are not cut out for this. this You're going to get carved up in this game. This is embarrassing. Stick to hacky political talk. To stick to how inflation is a good thing somehow because you want Biden to get reelected. Fuck that. Fuck Switch back to mukbangs. Yeah, or you know eat. what? Just hit the Arby's. Just eat and show it this time. Yeah. Name is he, she, she's one of his one of his fucking oh um, gummy bear wackers. gummy mare. I don't know gummy Who? mare. Uh, gummy mare. That's the best you can do. Gummy mare. I thought that was pretty good. Oh, did you really? That was a, yeah, she really <laughs> no. got me. I don't know. She came, she messaged, she fucking was in uh, in my comments, in my threads. So please, you know her name. Please follow me. Right. Please follow me so I can DM you. Please. And then I went and looked her up. I'm like, you fucking dumb bitch. You're fucking. Wow, these progressives are really nice to women, aren't they? Sure are. These are wonderful progressives. Just uh, making fun of a woman's gums. Uh, calling women dumb bitches. Somebody Boy, who I... has like a succeeding podcast at the moment. Right. Shit Chrissy Mayer's that. everywhere right now. I know. I'm trying to sell fucking your content that you're an insurrectionist. She Are went to the crazy? insurrection. Huh? She was there. She went to it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, she would love an insurrection. What does that even mean? You trying to I make a dick know. joke? That was, you know, a good one. Good one, Tony. Well, there you go. There's a four-minute cope fest of Tony Michaels and stuttering John Melendez. Uh, we're we're going to get to uh, another, I, I think in honor of Mr. Michaels, I think what we ought to do for Tony, since he told us that he really, he thought that those, uh, the drive through things were really, really good. Mm-hmm. I think what we ought to do is we ought to play one of the drive throughs that Dennis oh, yeah. sent us. Dennis from the Dabblers. Thank you, Dennis Michaels. Oh, he's there in the chat. Thank Give you, Dennis. Uh, I say that we take a look at one of Tony's videos. I'm in. He likes them so much that he doesn't even, he can't even watch them anymore. Because they're so fucking well, good, he had to delete them from the internet. If you guys want to look at those things and review them and shit, well, good uh, for you then. Thank you very much. I'm catching up with the chat now. Thank you to Halada Fachina. I love that uh, name. For becoming a member. We appreciate that. Thank and you. Uh, look at this. Chrissy Mayer in the chat. Oh, really? Welcome, Chrissy. I've awesome. been uh, DMing with Frank. Um, not to book you for an interview, just to fuck him. 
Uh, it disguises well, an interview then, offer. Of course. What? <laughs> nice to have you here. Frank said he gets shy. He'd rather you didn't watch. Oh, yeah, I'll be gone. Okay, good. You and Chrissy can go shopping or something. For insurrectionist gear. <laughs> gives a fuck if someone was at the insurrection i, I want to know why that fbi agent was there i couldn't think of anything i care less about uh chrissy with 10 bucks says tony michaels said he was psyched that i followed him a few weeks ago hmm tony michaels say my name isn't that something yeah, that he would that he would not say chrissy's name you can't say you don't know who somebody is when they're in your dude direct comments that is the biggest hack trick that he does is that, and we watched the first time we watched him, I just went, oh no, not one of these fucking guys. I don't know this guy, but uh, here's everything about him. Yeah. Ant Anthony, I can't even do that nasally shitty it's voice. It's really gross. Don't try. Anthony, does he even have a show anymore? Anyway, all the people who do his show DM me, and all, it's like, I thought you didn't know if he had a show. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah, now uh, Stut Joe Depot and all the uh, Dabbler people uh, all hail the queen. Of course, Chrissy, we've seen the clip before where she. With coined the term dabbler. Oh, yeah. Uh, it came from, of course, that that wonderful interview with Stuttering John where he was really pissed. She innocently, too, went, I've heard you dabble in stand-up comedy. Like, it's not like the first thing people should think when they think Stuttering John Melendez is stand-up comic. The first thing they should think, oh, the guy that uh, Jackie uh, Martling and Fred Norris and Howard Stern passed their comedy through like a fucking sewer pipe. That's the guy. Uh, Chrissy says, I'm everywhere, even in this chat. Well, now April's all nervous because she thinks you're, her, uh, you are her hero. No, I'm just like, I... No, I think it's very cool that she's here. It's uh, always fun to see somebody new in the chat. Chrissy says, Tony Michaels is attracted to me and hates it. Is he? <laughs> That's true. I mean, he did kind of have, I like, mean... he did kind of have that third grader, I won't even say my crush's name vibe going on. That's kind of what I was getting after. Yeah, he's just embarrassed almost. Uh, Chrissy said, oh my God, this blonde girl is so cute. Hi. Oh, great. We're going to have a goddamn estrogen. Is this now. the real Chrissy Mayer? Yes, of here? course. That is the real Chrissy okay. Mayer. I hope so. What What was... Uh, what if it's just somebody trolling the fuck out of us? What, what was that uh, thing that Yeg Nobody said about you last night? Me. You're a nine with the confidence of a four. Followed up by the other comments. Okay. Oh. Uh, Dennis says, glad to get the word out. I don't know who else would have downloaded that nonsense besides myself. Well, God bless you for doing so. Yes, it's the Lord's word. <laughs> Chrissy said, responding to us saying, why wouldn't he say your name? Chrissy says, uh, Tony was big timing me. He really was. I hate getting big timed by fucking Tony Michaels. <laughs> All right, let me go into the email I got from Dennis. And uh, God, what a dipshit if I deleted it. Um, there it is. There's Dennis's... Uh, you should mark the important ones as starred and put them in their own folder. Okay, wait. Now this you one is called this. Two Double Cheese Drive Through Trailer, and he even wrote on it, "Funny." Then I think we got to watch that one. Okay, or did McDonald's just call it a sad meal? Funny, funny. This is going to be well, hard that's to pick. double the funny. Maybe two, we go with that one. Two funnies better than one funny. Usually. All right. Now, guys, I'm only playing this. I would never play this because I always thought that these videos embarrassed Tony Michaels badly. I thought that Tony was uh, very upset by these videos' existence, uh, thus why he deleted all of them. So I wasn't going to play them. But then Tony was so excited, and him and John were so pumped he likes about them. all of the, these shows that talk about them that he w said, you know what, you fucking idiots. Well, fucking idiots? Is that what he called us? Fucking idiots. I'm a uh, fucking idiot. I'm a cuck. cuck. There was one more. There was one more. I no, I think it was just fucking idiots 18 times. Okay. The guy's an original. You got to give him that. He's, he's kind of cut from the stern David Letterman cloth, you know, kind of a real, a unique talent. A shining you know? star. I look at Tony Michaels and I, you know, I, I get a lot of Milton Berle vibes from Tony it's Michaels. Quite the compliment. No, I meant in the condition Milton Berle is in now. Okay, good. Yeah. That's it makes more sense. You know how John looks like Frederica Bimmel when they pulled her from the river in Silence of the Lambs? Yes. Yeah, that pasty skin tone. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I kind of see Tony Michaels as a modern day Milton Berle. And by that, I mean the modern day condition Milton Berle is in. All right. Did McDonald's just call it a sad meal? Funny, funny. All right. I got to see this one again. Thank you. Oh, 
Funny fast food car vlog. All right. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay, not double the funny. Your great liberal commentator and secret crush on Chrissy Mayer Haver, uh, Tony Michaels, with one of his fast food vlogs. Thank you, Dennis, again for getting us this. All right, guys. Oh, sorry. I, I just I got a you got a big screen. What the hell? You got a big screen, Tony Michaels. The, uh, look how big that is. Oh my god. <laughs> That looks like it looks like you have the mumps, dude. You know He's how, just... you know how like you'll have a show like Breaking Bad, and like the main character will just start it, start getting involved in the criminal underworld. Mm -hmm. This is like the first level lackey that he has. Okay, That's... you know what? Is he? Is he like he reminds me of Huel kind of. Huel, he's Huel. like white Huel. Yeah, yeah, not not near he's as charming. Not as charming. No, but white Huel. Yeah. He has the charm of the guy Gus cut the throat of in season four of Breaking Bad. No, you know who he reminds me of in Better Call Saul? The guy with the Hummer. Oh, who sells, the, who sells the pills? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's kind of got that voice, too. Oh, my God, he is like the prescription nerd in, in season he one of Better Call Saul. Cards. I mean, I only deleted these fast food blogs because somebody stole my baseball cards. There was a Mickey Mantle in there. There was an autographed Jeter rookie card in there. Those were very, they were worth thousands. And somebody stole my baseball cards. If you throw glasses on him, that's him. Oh my God, he really is. You put a beard and glasses on the virgin with the flamed out Hummer. <laughs> and the spinners. And it's Tony Michaels. Yeah. God, we're not going to get through this food vlog. Guys, we're just automatically doing overtime tonight. Fuck it. I'm having too much fun with Tony Michaels. If you guys feel like chipping in tonight, very cool. Otherwise, fucking Tony Michaels time. We might get to Chad Zumok tonight, but I got no problem saving that for tomorrow. We're out driving around again today. And uh, you know what that means? When I get in the car... And the, uh, uh, you know what that means? When I get in the car, the car tilts to one side. <laughs> the suspension blows out. <laughs> you know what that means? When I get in the car, every turn is on two wheels. Oh. Tire pressure low. <laughs> you know what that means? The, fr the front driver's side goes from 41 to 32. Um, The horn is constantly, constantly being blown. Oh, from his Ethan Klein from belly. His tummy. I'm driving. I'm probably going to get some drive through. So let's see what's on the menu. All right, we just pulled into McDonald's and uh, I'm starving. He's breathing heavy. He is. Oh no, he's so horny for McDonald's that he's. <sighs> In fairness, I've been there before. Oh my God. Good McDouble. Fixes everything. Absolutely starving. So let's get to that menu and let's get the order going. Yeah. First lie of the video, he's starving. That's not the look of a starving man. Are you sure? <laughs> His body's starting to eat itself, Aaron. That's the look of a man where when you put the blood pressure cuff on him, gravy leaks out. <laughs> Just oozes through his pores. Like, oh, why is it sausage gravy? That's upsetting. Smells good, though. Ah, damn, Tony. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it on a biscuit, you fat fuck. Hey, you almost hit that guy, Tony, for Christ's sake. I just fucking flew in there, though. Watch where you're going. Well, he knew Godzilla was coming to order. <laughs> He's going to eat it all. <laughs> he saw, he saw uh, Mr. Michaels coming from a mile away, and he goes, I'm getting the fuck in there. Oh, fuck, I got to get mine first. I just want a goddamn double cheeseburger and a fry with a water. I am not letting this. And hurry before he runs me over. I am not letting this colossus get in here in front of me. Do you guys have happiness on the menu today? Oh, fuck you. Oh, that you know, ruined my whole fucking night right there. <laughs> that is awful. Now you're just wasting the time of fast food workers by being a cunt. If I ever heard you say that, you're kicked out of the car, it's over. Do me a favor. Hit me in the place in the head you need to hit someone to trigger an instant stroke. I'll make sure I like pinpoint that. I want you to look tonight. at medical books and find out where that point is on the head and hit me there if I ever do that. It's done. Happiness. <laughs> sure. All right. Well, give me a 20-piece chicken nugget. Holy fuck. <laughs> 20? Dude, you didn't need the whole chicken. I don't ever want to hear this man on his little politics show talking about the obesity epidemic. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Yeah, you don't get to talk about groceries or anything. Nothing yes. food-related. I don't want to hear you bitch about inflation. You've got a lot from your grocery budget you could cut, young man. I also don't ever want to hear you talk about the quality of food because 
chicken nuggets is not the thing you order at McDonald's. Actually, in this video, he's actually 17 years old, but he eats this way, and it just and aged him terribly. And has white hair. Oh, Look at that. Man. He's salt uh, and peppered. A small fry and a large Coke, please. Uh, no sauce, just happiness. <laughs> All right. Large cup, point nuggets. I wish that was like a code for the workers to put cum in it. <laughs> Spit or anything, a booger. Just happiness and they're like, they're like Dane Cook and waiting. You know what? A good farmer's blow. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. We're going to get some happiness in the chicken nugget box. <laughs> oh, God. I will never order a chicken nugget because of this. I haven't seen retarded six-year-olds this excited about McDonald's. <laughs> Look at this. That's the last thing There's... Wayne Knight saw before he got spit on in Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's really scary. There's no jawline anywhere. Oh, my God. I want the fucking Jaws music to play when that happens. He's kind of like a big old worm. There's just no like <laughs> definition to him. It's just wrinkles. Yes. That's it. Thank you for feeding me today. <laughs> oh, that's it. She thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'd oh feel that God. way too if someone thought you were funny. I don't like being that close to his mouth. I'd be. I know. I feel like I'm gonna get swallowed up. <laughs> I know. It's like a black hole. His mouth is like an uh, event horizon. <laughs> if you get into it, you start to spaghettify, and then he goes. <laughs> I'm about to get the chicken nuggies. Oh, oh chicken! chicken oh, remember Chicky McNuggies? Oh my God! Oh, he's getting Chicky McNugs. Oh, well, good. Thank you. <laughs> chicken McNuggets. Chicken McNuggets. Chicken McNuggets. Look at that huge case of Mountain Dew in the back. Oh, I wish he was <laughs> fucking t-boned by a cartel SUV right now. <laughs> this is horrific. And I really, I'm still so mad at him that he never shows the food. But again, this is, this is part of that, that amazing effort he puts into wanting to be a thing overnight. To want, like, the, the urge to go viral in this man is repulsive. No, you know who deserves to go viral overnight? That corn kid. The that, corn kid. That goes viral Wonderful. overnight. Oh, man. I am halfway through this box of happiness, and I am so excited that I stopped at McDonald's. I, and by the way, old secure fat man or old insecure fat man will not show you eat him will not show himself eating to you at all. It's just it's a bad business model to promote that you're eating food and then you don't eat it for us. Yeah. Show us downing it's, the 10 McNuggets you just downed, you fucking sad man. It's false advertising. Somebody's a little ashamed of the belly. This is what I don't like about this guy. On top of the, I don't know who Chrissy Mayer is, and then quotes all of her bio. Or, I don't, does Anthony Cumia still have a show? What's and his last name? Two minutes later goes, oh, all the people from his show. But then also the, I'm going to do a confident viral food review thing but then clearly be so insecure about your weight that you don't want anybody to watch you eat. Yeah, but we all just heard what you ordered. It's not really going to make the difference, yeah. I don't think. Quick question for you, though. What part of the chicken is the nugget? Oh, oh no. So we're a hack with our McDonald's jokes, I'm too. I'm going to wager it's actually cat. It's the best part! <laughs> oh, man, the only thing better than... A chicken nugget right now. Is somebody hitting you with a shovel right through your driver's side window? <laughs> There's a box of 20 of them. All right, guys. I made it through the box of happiness. And guess what I found? Diabetes? You found diabetes, didn't you? Definitely diabetes. Type 2 diabetes, for sure. Or I hope some insulin. <laughs> a cholesterol check? A heart attack. Please let it... Ooh, could it be a massive coronary? Uh, too much fentanyl. A uh, triple <laughs> bypass. I found bag fries. Bag fries are the best. It's a great surprise at the end. Thanks for riding along with me again today. Are we going to hear that shitty saying that he did? Are you I ready to hear the shitty saying? I just had douche chills. I guess you should just play it. Fuck the dabblers for putting me onto this guy, by I the way. I hate this so much. Guys... Keep it up. We're going to keep going through the drive through It's been fun. Well, yeah, nobody thinks you're actually going to get up out of the car and walk. <laughs> you got to tuck and roll. Yeah. Can't wait to get to the next one. Click legs subscribe and the bell notification because we're going to keep driving through. Drive in, oh, no. drive out, drive through.
Oh, yeah. you tried so hard and it didn't work. So then you made your identity not liking mm. Donald Trump. Oh, he is a sad story, but he's so defiant that I can't stop with him. Like if he was a sad man who was insecure and hated himself, fine, I'd leave him alone. But oh, he's he a, loves himself. He's a complete sad man. No, he doesn't. You don't think so? He's a complete sad man who's insecure and can't mm. handle criticism, but he tries to play it off as though he doesn't. But he's remarkably see-through. People loving the music. <laughs> uh, thank you to Jay Santos for the four ninety nine. Appreciate that. Says, here, Effsler. Thanks for the free overtime. <laughs> uh, Chrissy says the McDonald's will drive through his anus. It's probably very blown out. Oh, at this the, point. The, the shits that that man must take. Almost now we're thinking about it. Should set off carbon monoxide alarms. Ugh. That specifically, huh? Uh, Vinny Ladder says, "I wish anything excited me as much as McDonald's excites him." You know what? Fair. I know. I want to. I want to find love like he has for McDonald's. I want Chicken April to love me the way that. Uh, why do I keep forgetting his first name? I'm not even doing his bit. Tony Michaels. I keep wanting to call him I, Josh Michaels. I was Michaels. really hoping you were going with the bit. He has a. He has the. Uh, the look of a fat guy named Josh. So the Tony kind of throws me off. Uh, Frank says he sounds like a serial killer. Serial killers can get excited about McDonald's. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Chrissy Mayer says, if I give you $10, will you hold my hand through the drive through window? He seems like more of a guy who wants the McDonald's employee, correct me if I'm wrong here, to cradle his head. and Something like that. And like, if I had your head right now, I'd be petting it. Like yeah. Stroking the back of it. I To me... Tony Michaels looks like a guy who always misses his mom. And every time he gets scared, he yeah. ends up saying, I want my Tony, mommy. Tony Michaels is definitely a kid who never made it through the sleepovers because he kept going to the other parents with like a couple tears in his eyes and trying to hold them back. And he really missed his mommy. So he'd say he didn't feel good. And then he got to go home from the sleepover. I'm going to guess he was the kid that wet his pants on occasion. Now, are you, you mean when he was a kid or now? Maybe now just because his bladder's being crushed. Frank Pellegrino says that uh, there are bodies in his basement. I don't know if he's got the balls. I really don't. I don't think Tony's got the he's, balls. He very much strikes me as someone who would say, ew, gross. <laughs> 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 Everything's just gross to him. <laughs> he's too busy eating. He couldn't kill anybody. Oh. Yes. Uh, mash him up in your fist and take him down, says Vinny Ladders. <laughs> Uh, just a lot of cornball hack. Oh. They're saying a lot. Oh, a lot of people voting stroke. Stroke. They yeah. want. They're they're rooting for a stroke. Uh, he watches a lot of plaque build up in those arteries. Uh, Vinny says he watches a lot of Joel Austin. I bet. I bet you not actually. I no. bet you he's a big time lefty. So he probably thinks like religion is for the. Yeah. It's for the easily led. It's for the sheep, man. No Christian shit for him. Yeah. No Christian shit. He for calls old, Joel uh, Austin a cuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd say those two things in a no, None of that shit for old <laughs> Tony 10 Nuggets. 20? What are Times you two. About? Yeah, I guess Tony Tony 20 Nuggets. Oh, God, the joke was right there. He's Ugh. the type of guy I'd see like putting a couple in his pocket for later. Maybe Frank's right. People are a bumba clothes now calling him Tony Wayne Gacy. Oh, God. <laughs> Chrissy says, brush the chicken grease away from his mouth. Oh, and it probably makes like a cartoon sound like. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. You know what, though? Like, you know, it's cute that, like, you and me and Frank and Chrissy were all here and we're making fun of Tony Michaels, but we forget he's had a better career than all of us. That is true. He's we had are. more success than all of us. You remember that movie was in? he was in? I can't remember the name of the movie, but I distinctly remember... Um, oh, God. Um, I remember it was... Uh, Princess Leia put a chain around his neck and pulled back really hard and killed him. Oh, I don't know that guy, but yeah. he was, I think, wasn't he the one on the barge with like a lot of like lackeys yes, around yes, him? Yes, yes, yes. He was that uh, job of the hut. One. Oh, yeah. that one. Yeah. He was really good in that movie and none of us have done anything that big. No. So we can sit here and hate all we want, but it's, I think it's out I, of jealousy. I don't think all four of us combined could ever be as big as he is. Von Kaiser says he probably took his mom to prom. <laughs> oh, no. And probably, like, try to take a stance of, well, nobody ever took her to prom. So yeah, just... that's right. Dad knocked her up junior year, so they never got to go. 
It was me. <laughs> and then they had me. So who needs prom when you have Tony 20 nuggies? Oh my God. Now he's Lenny from Of Mice and Men. <laughs> he has to pet him. Oh. Uh, don't let him hold on to that girl. He'll just shake her to death. He doesn't know his own strength. <laughs> uh. I think you've You're made right. a big fan I... out of Chrissy Mayer tonight, by the way. Uh, I have a lot of yes, April. Yes. I don't know how to take a compliment. I'm nervous. Kid. That's right. April <laughs> believes that she's uh, consistently I... a giant piece of shit. So there is that. Yes. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Rupert. Don't try to talk me out of it. It won't help. Uh, Rupert with uh, 999. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, we didn't really adhere to the goal tonight because we're having too much fun with Tony Michaels. It's been a great start to the week. So we are uh, technically 170 away from what our goal would have been tonight. If you guys feel like throwing in, go ahead and throw in a couple bucks, listener-supported show and all that. But uh, uh, tonight just got away from us fun-wise. and It was. This has been really fun. I'm super excited to see Chrissy here. And Frank was here, too, you said? Frank was better. Maybe uh, Frank is better. Uh -huh. Maybe uh, Chrissy's like a lady tiger, you know? <laughs> uh, don't you remember him as Bob in Demo... <laughs> Bob in Demolition Man! Oh my God! Let's pull that up. Uh, that's I forgot about that. Bob Demolition Man. I do remember Tony Michaels oh, boy. as Bob in Demolition Man. <laughs> oh, How could man. I have forgotten? Or Otho in Beetlejuice? Uh, of course. Who could forget about Bob? Oh, Tony Michaels was good in that movie. Ugh. How that soon we forget? Is his father or something? The one who knocked up his mom junior year. With him. With him. Unfortunately. And hated his life forever. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't like this. People in the chat right now are trying to uh, besmirch the reputation of whoever that account is saying it's not Chrissy Mayer. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm, she's going to prove it right now. Is that the right number? <laughs> I'm so terrible with our Ooh, studio I don't line think number. So. Maybe. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, it. I know it. That's right. Okay. Chrissy, prove these idiots wrong. Call that number right now. Say hello. I'm, we'll prove it. I'm going to laugh my dick off if you just get a bunch of our listeners calling in. <laughs> uh, Chrissy says, it's me, 34D. Now we're just flexing in the chat. I don't know if that's... Yeah, now I feel less than. <laughs> All right, guys. The question here becomes, now, now we've reached ourselves a tricky place. Do we... Go to the Brendan Schaub, or do you want to do another drive-in with Tony? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Torn. It was supposed to be Zumok next. Do we have the time for that? Yes. Oh. For Tony? For No, for I mean, like, do we physically, like, actually have time for, for it? For Chad Zumok, you make time. All right. Oh, look. boy. Mayer. Oh, Chrissy Mayer. Hello, Chrissy. How are you? Well, hello. This is Chrissy Mayer, live oh. from where I live. Oh, Chrissy Mayer Doubtfire. That's wonderful. Uh, how... how, how <laughs> so fucking dumb. Oh, that's great. Well, Chrissy, thank you very much for calling. That's wonderful. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of Boy, the, I sure love Chrissy. One of the most retarded things. Oh no, that was Chrissy I just hung up on because that stupid bit was going on. Oh god damn it. Try again. I'm so sorry. Uh thank you very much <laughs> oh, I to thought you uh, just called in. <laughs> thank you to Gray Duckling and Daniel. Holy shit, forty five bucks a piece from those two. That is uh too kind, gentlemen. Thank Appreciate you. it. Eighty bucks away from whatever our goal was tonight, but you guys are getting uh overtime regardless because Oh, what a great time. All right, I'm sorry, Chrissy. Call in one more time. The gimmick was going on, and I we're sorry. fucked it up. Uh, so we're going to do... Let me open these uh, Chad Zumach links that I've got. We were going to try to introduce everyone to Chad because Frank Pellegrino wrote me this weekend, and uh, we were DMing trying to get some booking stuff done, and he said he, he credited me with getting the ball rolling on the Chad Zumok stuff. Now, I wouldn't say that because we played a clip of uh, of Chad ripping on Stuttering John, and we kind of saw through him. Mm -hmm. We were like, eh, it's Chad Zumok. He's full of shit. We did a thing on him. I don't know if we got the ball rolling, but he's very fun to pick on. Call from uh, Chrissy there. Oh, there we go. Chrissy, hello. How are you? Hi. 
Hi. Wonderful to see you this evening. What 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 brought you to our, our humble little show? Oh, they just told me to call in, so I'm calling in. Oh no, there's no fucking screener here. It's me. Oh, oh my god, fuck, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what an operation you guys have yeah. here. Oh no, no it's just us. Everything. What kind of operation? Yeah, we have. I I have. I have three guys who uh, who can't find part time work anywhere else who co host once a week each. That's about that's about it. That's the budget over here. Uh, wow, but that's more guys than I have. <laughs> it, so now you uh <laughs> you found yourself at the center. Now I think uh this show got like slightly mentioned, like a slight kind of a shitting on by John and Tony today, but they went full on like after you uh miss insurrectionist i mean that that had to hurt i mean a tony michaels trashing it's is worse so, than all of them yeah these they're so unoriginal all these insults it's like i have heard them all at this point and it's like i yeah to pretend that you don't know and it's like it'd be one thing if there was pictures of me like running away with a podium or like sitting on nancy pelosi's desk but it's like i didn't even go inside so it's like there's really so little to work off of. Yeah. It, just, it gets lame for me. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You're not the Q shaman? What? <laughs> oh. No horn. No, I didn't even see him. Oh. I didn't even see that guy. Did you see the FBI agent guy? I always forget his name. No, I didn't see. There were like no cops that I saw. Um, it was honestly pretty chill. And you know what people don't talk about from January 6th is the food. The food was great. They have some food trucks. Food? They, they have food trucks at the uh, at the revolution. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Yes. There were great. There was food trucks. There were costumes. There was music. Picnic. It was. It was honestly fun. Was, I'm, I would do it again. I'm clipping this whole Tony thing, and I I know he probably watches shit on himself. I want to have. Uh, I, I want him to hear you talk this way about the insurrection and see if his fucking chubby head explodes. It, and it's the thing is like it was it was so chill and I know I get in trouble for saying that but anyone who was there knows exactly what I'm talking about and it's like if you weren't there you don't fucking know man uh it's like yeah there were a couple hundred people who got into shenanigans but there were like hundreds of thousands of people who were chill as fuck so it's like it's like Woodstock anyway. you had to be there Yes. Yeah, there were a few people who rolled around in some shit like Woodstock but most people had a blast are you are you as annoyed as we are? Because we've watched two Tony clips now. Are you as annoyed as we are by that that hacky pretending not to know the person thing and then quoting their Wikipedia back to you? Uh, yeah, it's strange. It's, it's it's okay to admit that you know who somebody is. Like it's not like this isn't high school. You don't have to pretend. Like, ugh, I don't know her. Yeah. What <laughs> what is that? Do you think he like doesn't know how to like? He's really bothered, but he doesn't know how to play it. Like he's not. So he's kind of he's trying like almost playing both sides in a weird way. Yeah. You just like it's a kind of a small internet world that we all dabble in. So it's like don't like pretend you don't know who people are. I don't know. And yeah. it's like, I fucking, he said, oh, cool, you followed me or whatever. So it's weird that he would just suddenly forget. Yeah. I, I think I think you just kind of got caught up in the middle of a, of a John and Tony Cope fest, I think is all that was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he needs to, like, be his BFF. And I guess I'm just an easy person to yeah. target or whatever. Well, Chrissy, I tell you what, I've been uh, I've been going back and forth with Frank, and I hope we can set something up for uh, for a full on uh, appearance and everything uh, sometime. But thank you very oh, much yeah. for calling in tonight. And now at least one person in the chat has to eat their shoe, so that's nice. Good, eat the shoe, and yeah, I'm I'm uh, I can't wait for this Chad content. We're gonna we're gonna watch some Chad here, and uh, and and thank Frank okay. for giving me the credit <laughs> for getting that started, but I I don't think I did. <laughs> oh. All right. Talk to you later, Chris. Do I say hi, Frank? Oh. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. There we go.